This is cow 7571, and she's got a bubble in her foot. This is the Hoof GP. So I knew this cow was lame because I saw her walking into the crush. And if you look towards the top of her left hand claw there, you'll see a black bubble. That black bubble lets me know there's a cavity lurking beneath. Experience tells me that that is not the place to start this trim though, and you're just about to see why. So completely ignoring the urine shower in the background, just look how big this abscess must be lurking beneath that hoof horn. It's time to crack out the knife and slice away all of that overburdening horn. The commotion you hear in the background is not the cow in the crush. I'm currently on a farm with over 700 cows and some of them like to make a bit of a song and dance. I first use the knife so that I can get a bearing on how far down the blood supply truly is. Then once I'm sure where it is, I can use the grinder to remove the bulk of the material overburdening this lesion. Once we get close again, we'll stop with the grinder and return to the knife. The pus you can see that's emanating from this area of the cow's foot is basically the remnants of a war that's been raging within the hoof capsule. You see this cow has had an infection and her immune system waged war against the bacteria causing that infection. The tissue within the area became the collateral damage and turned into basically liquefied flesh, which is the pus you can see coming out of the problem. With my knife, I'm able to remove fractions of millimetres from this cow's sole, and that allows me to be incredibly careful. But that being said, fractions of millimetres sometimes isn't enough, and even a simple jet of water can cause enough damage to make this cow bleed. As you can see, I pull the hook round and through the detached horn in order to slice it away from the corium and hopefully not inflict any damage to this cow's hoof. I hold the blue tissue paper tightly against our corium in order to bruise the area and make sure that this lesion has the best possible chance of healing by staying as closed as possible. Think back to when we first started this trim. We released a huge amount of pressure simply by removing some overburdening horn and allowing the pus to drain. Now we've removed all of the overburdening horn and we've treated it with iodine. It's time to apply a block and finish off this trim. With that done, it's time for a final application of iodine and a quick wrap with Embryonics Magical Paste. We're using it because there's no digital dermatitis to kill here and it'll be fantastic for healing that corium. Make sure you've subscribed to see the update for this cow in three weeks time.